What's up, Zoomsters, and welcome back to a new episode on the channel. And in honor of the newest character in the game, Rocky, we're now going to be getting the full trophy road here and seeing if we claim him today because we can certainly do that. He will be found at League 19 here right next to Nico, and they have really similar colorways as well, as you can see, which is really cool. And just a reminder, Rocky is not an early access right here. We are not a beta testing version of the game, so keep that in mind. But we can get him out of crates, out of any crate out of these, we can get him. So let's see what happens right now, see if we get him or not, and let's begin here with the really, really good stuff. We're starting off with Duke. Naturally, the goal is to get as many characters as possible, okay? We got Duke here, very good, very solid. We got some of these uh, tokens right here, we got Bruce, okay? Can't really go wrong with that, I suppose. Team game mode as well, that's gonna be useful, but not right now. Events, gems, these go by really quick, so don't worry. These are pretty cool though, deathmatch though. They gotta do something with deathmatch. Alright, bros, toolbox! Well, let's see what we get. Duke, some coins, okay. And now we get a random skin. That is solid, honestly. We never usually start off these videos here with Bruce here. We usually start off with Buck, surprisingly. So maybe we get a Bruce skin, and we just so happen to get Senior Duke. Okay, okay, definitely not the best skin in the game, because they just changed the little outfit, you know? You don't add any hats or anything, so a lot of the times you can't even tell that there's a skin going on. Which is horrifying. Okay, now we're waiting. I mean, we're not really waiting, because it's... It's really, really close to us, actually. Getting an emerald crate. Because it's gonna happen. Or a gold crate from which you can actually get a character. And maybe, maybe we just get lucky for it. I don't know. Maybe that's gonna be the case. Let's go get the gold crate right now and just see what happens, please. And we end up getting Duke. Okay, fine. Bros, tool boss right now. These are good, though. Very, very good. Since we need as many items and resources as possible right now. Once we get to the later stages, then it's gonna be a different story, though. So let's see what happens here. And just for experimental purposes. I also want to see what kind of special items we get today. That's gonna be something really cool to find out. Bruce. And then there's a random skin right there. Okay. Very good. And now... What do we have going on for ourselves here? We just got Knockout Bruce, which looks really similar to the skin that is for Rocky, you know? The boxer skin. <laughs> so you can't go wrong with that. Okay, we got some of them Bruce tokens right here. And it's it's decent to say the least. Some coins, bronze toolbox. Man, I wish you could do something about this animation though. That would have been super, super cool. Emerald crit, it's right there. Let's go. I hope we get a character out of that though. That's gonna be life changing. Right here, right now. And we're getting someone. And let's see who it is going to be. And we just got Zach. All right. Very good right here. Very, very good. It's one of the better characters in the game. And that is someone that is actually worth having right here. It's definitely not Faye. Definitely not Quinn. You know, some of these words character Zack is a solid one and you can't go wrong solid a tier or b tier character you know something along these lines so we got some more Bruce tokens but we need some Zack tokens right now yeah that's gonna be good it's gonna be amazing hey look at that our next character is going to be Jack here and that is another fine addition to our collection and back in the day man they didn't offer characters like this you just had crates and toolboxes and whatnot and that's it it didn't even have special items in this it was just that simple path of pause is also here and you'll lock it rather late as well in the trophy road for some odd reason I don't know why the rewards are pretty good out of this though so make sure you get it as quick as possible super toolbox please be some items please I mean that's what it contains though so we are gonna get items out of that Oh, another emerald crate. That is a solid chance of us of getting a new character, as you can definitely imagine. So, it is Jack. Okay, fine. It is what it is. But having four characters so far is very solid. It's okay. So, if we end off this video with six or seven characters, I'll be happy. But if we get more, that would be insane. And we have the chances to get a lot of characters, okay? There are odds of that happening. Random skin. And, whoa! <laughs> Zack inside is so good to get out of that. Yo, look at that. That's amazing. Zack Stein is goaded on the sticks. That is an amazing skin. And maybe one time when we've actually gotten that in these sorts of videos. And I'm telling you, never. Obviously. Because when, when is that going to happen? That is so rare. Okay, we got a random special item and we just got... <laughs> Let's go! We got Fruitman Essence for Bruce, which is, of course, life-changing, amazing, best special item in the game. So, you can't go wrong with that at all. Bronze Toolbox, maybe we get something out of this now, I don't know exactly. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. We got Duke over here. Okay. Alrighty. We got some more coins, Super Toolbox, and now sooner rather than later, we're gonna go, we're gonna come across something really good like this. And please be a character, please. Alright, fine, it's Zack. But it was okay, don't worry about it. And now we just have a whole bunch of tokens for some odd reason over here. Okay, fine, it is what it is. So we got Jack, 
and we got some more gems over here and bronze toolbox and there's i'm sensing that there's gonna be something really cool right here just right around the corner you're gonna see it and so am i okay because i don't know this whole thing by heart okay it's it's a lot of rewards to come across here and we got another random skin which of course is gonna be a skin we're not getting coins out of this and we just got savannah duke two skins for duke is pretty odd indeed but i don't mind why would you need two skins for duke right now but of course at this amount of trophies you're naturally supposed to have way more characters than this so of course the skins are gonna be way more varied between more characters so it's fine so there you go. Emerald toolbox, please be something good. And yes, it is certainly something good. Items are very useful. Like if you don't have items in this game, say goodbye to competing because you can't compete with anyone if you don't have proper items, okay? Not even just items, any items. Okay, maybe not even any items, like the actual good items, okay? Because everyone uses the good items. So there you go. And that is yet another special item. And we have you, infrared binoculars for Zach. That is a life-changing one. That is beautiful, and we love to see that, and I'm so happy to see that right here. We got Jack, we got Gems, we got a bronze toolbox. Give me that, please. Be something good. Coins, bronze toolbox here. And is that something beautiful right there waiting for us? And it certainly is. We just got, ladies and gentlemen, to this very good area. We got to the purple area, and this is where we get the really, really good rewards. Like this, for example. This is a great introduction to that. We got Cloud Nose. Okay, fine. It is what it is. But you do get to find gold crates here and the legendary toolbox, legendary crates as well. There's a black crate at the end from which I hope we get the new character. Like, really, really good stuff like this. Gems! So for toolbox, okay, we got this. Cluster bomb is fine. And just upgrading items in general is going to be a solid thing. Maybe apart from the, the clown nose. Let's not upgrade that one. That's not useful. And now what do we have out of this? Solve the favorite later for Zack again. So is Zack going to be an absolute menace? Well, I'm happy to say that he is going to be a menace. He is going to be insanely powerful if you play him with two special items just like that. He's not even level two, and we already have two special items for him. That's like being a baby and your parents already giving you like 100 pairs of shoes. That's the same thing. You can't even wear them, but yet they exist. New character! And what do we have? Who's it gonna be? Oh, no way! We just got Jade! Let's go! Because last time we got Henry and we got Steve as well, I'm pretty sure. Like two of the best characters in the game. And now we get Jade. Yes! That's amazing! Okay, this is a good this is a good character selection here. Alright, this is very good so far. Very lucky, and we love to see this. Emerald toolbox again. Just sign me up. I really don't mind. We need Jade items though. So there you go. Cluster bomb and Klaus knows. But he can't exactly get more than those, so it's fine. Gold crate. I don't envision this is gonna be a character, but J tokens is certainly really, really good. Don't get me wrong. That is something that we desperately need, okay? That is a necessity, in fact. Alright, that is essential. So more gems. And uh, in total, from this trophy road, 876 gems. But the number of gems is going to gradually increase here because towards the end, you're going to see a lot of more gems. Ooh, legendary tool. Oh, okay, legendary crate. All right. <laughs> but a legendary toolbox is somewhere around here though so I, although i did make that mistake it is somewhere here close to us so although you may imagine that only now we can actually start having a chance of getting the new character we had a chance of getting it getting him all this time that's why we had the chance of getting jade and everything so yeah unfortunately this is a uh, this is not a new character and for some reason the legendary crate never is a new character i don't know why that's the case it's so odd we never get characters out of it because we get so lucky before and then nothing happens was to open the legendary crate but then again legendary crates are the best crates in the game okay they were once the best but now you got the black crates you got the legendary black crates because those exist you got a lot more other options if you want to get some really really good rewards so that means only one thing legendary crates are going to be easier to get though which is amazing <laughs> so you can't go wrong with that bruce more gems i told you they're going to stack up and now we have the legendary toolbox here at the close close to the end right not quite there but close so please be something good here, and please be a special item, please! And is it a special item? I can't even tell. No, we didn't get a special item, seriously? Because that's all these chests are made for, getting special items, and not getting a special item out of that is depressing. But it is what it is, we're gonna fight through it, it's okay. Don't worry about it. And I can see you at the finish line, and why is Phil a more complex character than Rocky? I do not understand why, but... It's fine, don't worry about it. Of course, the placement of these characters in their leagues is rather strange. Naturally, they're gonna go by which character is more complex. Of course, you know, the more complex the character, the more uh, higher up in the leagues it's going to be, so you're more of a pro while playing them. That's very simple, very simple way of explaining this. 
but still, he's not that complex. Phil is not that bad. I feel like Buddy deserves League 20 because he has like, he's two characters in one, basically. So we got our gems here. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to open the black crate and see if we get the new character or not. Because I have a feeling that we're going to get him out of this for some odd reason. So let's get it. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, here we have it. Dancing around. And let's see. Okay, it's a character. And who's it going to be? Yo, we just got Rocky! Look at him! He's right there! That is the coolest thing I've ever seen! And that's so lucky right there from the trophy room from the last crate right there! That is genuinely amazing! And there he is, one of the best characters in the game as far as we can see! And he kind of just punches around looking real angry, and he's really good at it at that! So let's see, let the hunt begin! Exactly game! That is what we're gonna do right now, and we got the Volcano Park level 1, and let's just see how good he is right now hello hello guard but now it's not time to go all over for the guard it is time to take this beautiful shoddy shotgun and do this that was actually a lot of damage right there honestly because even if you're level 20 you still can't one shot guards for some reason like you have to deal a significant more amount of damage than you might think to a guard in order to defeat them at any level which is pretty weird indeed but the fact that he can do so much here with the shotgun is crazy. He has a high damage output, and for good reason. He is an assassin character, basically, that jumps on characters out of nowhere just like this, and then becomes real huge all of a sudden, and recovers HP. That's what he does. And look at him. Look how magnificent this guy is. And imagine having muscles as well. Now, I don't know if you have muscles equipped that he's going to become even bigger than that. I'm not sure, but still, it could very well be the case. We gotta find out, though. Because this might just be the biggest character in the zoo. Like, I thought that... I I, I thought that... Um, Frank was supposed to be the biggest character in the zoo. Because he has the ability to get the water, you know? Be all big and stuff. And that's it. I thought he was the best. But maybe not. He is bigger. This guy, Rocky, is definitely bigger than him. For some reason. But can he be that much bigger than him? I don't know. We're gonna have to see that in just a second here. There you go. Maybe the next video, I don't know, if you actually want to see that, just comment down below, of course. It's your choice. Hello, Jade. Jade, can you please stop running away from me, because now I'll do the unthinkable. Or actually, the very predictable, actually, because it's very easy to predict what we're going to do right now. Bruce! He's an easier target, I think. I mean, he does deal more damage on melee, which is pretty, pretty annoying against this guy. Alright, there you go. That's That was a really good bomb attack, actually. I don't think it's the right time to actually jump on the boots. I feel like it's going to be better for us if we just kind of aim the bomb around because it's the only ranged thing that we actually have. Duke, please. Don't do anything you'll regret, okay? There you go. I see what you're doing here. Good job, buddy. Yes, sir. The extra damage. And now they're fighting each other. That's exactly what we're looking for. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the win. So the number one damage dealer is going to be the shotgun, okay? That's going to be your number one damage dealer. Not the bow. Okay, he doesn't have a bow. Not the bomb. Not the spear. It's actually going to be the shotgun and the active ability as well. So rely on those two the most. Keep that in mind. And for range, just go on over for the bomb, you know? And that, that adds a bit of range. Now, naturally, when you get the skill points as well for this character from the upgrade tree, you're going to be able to invest those into more range and stuff, and it's going to make things easier. But uh, you can say that about any character, pretty much. Much. So I don't think it really applies all that much here, but it can do that of course because you're gonna want to change those for every single character Because a lot of characters play differently from each other. They're not all the same. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I'm really glad we got him out of that. That was super super cool I'm glad that happened and I'll see you in the next one Zoopsters. Peace out and have a lovely day. Bye-bye